going with Hofstra, uh, the first three years, um, you were below 500 seasons. If, if you could see a transcript of your mind, what would be the most dominant question you were asking yourself during that time frame? Um, you know, I, I wasn't question, I wasn't questioning, um, I was so focused on, on the goal uh, of, um, of, of, of creating our culture. I don't even know if I used that word back then, but I knew I wanted to create a feeling in our guys of accomplishment uh, when they played hard and they played together, whether they won or lost the game. That's what I was trying to do. And I was trying to get people to, around us to appreciate that fans and and people to school to appreciate that these kids are playing hard they're playing together they're unselfish they're committed and and then just accept the results I, I really I really did even to the point where we we saw a recruit one time and and the the mother we were in their home and the mother said uh, well I, I heard from another coach that you guys uh, might be getting fired next year and I kind of brushed it off but I came out of the house and I said to my assistant Tom Pacora, I said can you believe she would say that? That we might get fired? That another coach would say that? He said, we might get fired. And I was like, wow, yeah, I guess you're right. I never thought, I, I wasn't thinking that way. I was just, I was so into it and so um, passionate about going forward.